What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel. Hurry up, my name is Tom Vecchio. The AFC Championship game is this weekend with the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's take a look at the single game format with a top tier, mid tier, and a low tier option when it comes to their salaries. Jumping right in, starting off at the top with Patrick Mahomes, $17,500 for the Chiefs quarterback, who has looked absolutely amazing in the first two games of the playoffs, going for 404, 5 1 when it comes to yards, touchdowns, and interceptions in the first game against the Steelers. Last week against the Bills, going for 370. 3 and 0. Immense consistency from Mahomes, along with a huge, huge ceiling of fantasy points to reach for. This game has a 54 and a half over under, and the Chiefs not only lead this game, of course, against the Bengals with a 31 implied team total, but this is the highest among the teams this weekend. So we want to be paying up for that consistency, along with the massive upside for Mahomes. Now, in the mid-tier, we can turn to T. Higgins at $11,000, the Bengals wide receiver. We should see the Bengals playing from behind, putting them in a positive passing game script, which is, of course, good to see. And most people will likely be paying up for Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey. That leaves Higgins in the mid-tier to go a bit overlooked. He's got 13 targets in the first two games of the playoffs for the Bengals. And we see Kansas City on defense through the regular season. They'll have 29.2 fan to points per game to opposing wide receivers. That was the 11th worst in the league, so it is an easy matchup for them. And if the Bengals are going to be airing the ball out, we should see a good role for T. Higgins. And then finally, at $8,500, the Bengals tight end, CJ Uzama, and 14 targets in the first two games of the playoffs is a very solid role for a player at this salary. He has six plus catches in both of these games. And throughout the regular season, we saw him tied for the third most red zone targets on the Bengals. So we know that Joe Burrow consistently looks to him when they get into the scoring areas. And again, if the Bengals are going to be playing from behind, they should be passing the ball ahead of running it with Joe Mixon. And that, that opens up plenty of options for T. Higgins and Uzama in the middle of the field. Uh, so that does it for this week's FanDuel. Hurry up, we'll be back next week for the Super Bowl, bringing you a few more picks.